Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So today we're going to be carrying on with our solo Crota um, tutorial guide thingy, what I'm doing. Um, this time we're going to be doing the Titan in the Abyss. Um, so last time we did Hunter, um, I was going to do Warlock next, but I had a few difficulties actually doing it myself. Um, jumping up on the ledge, right? I can do it normally, um, but I really want to optimise my tutorials for um, advanced players and for um, for unskilled players. And beginners, should I say. Um, so I'm going to be doing Titan now, only because it's a lot easier than Warlock is um, to get up on top of a ledge. I will be showing you how to do that right now. Um, I'll also show you my class loadout real quick. Um, I'm using a sniper. Um, a sniper is pretty much like compulsory here. You have to have a sniper. You literally have to have it. Uh, make sure it's a high impact one. Um, Black Hammer is fine. Icebreaker is fine. Ephrodites is fine. Um, I'm using Ephrodites just out of example's sake. I would usually use Black Hammer, but I want to mix it up a little bit. I do this a lot, so um, I like to mix up my weapons a little bit. I'm using my Demorty tool just to make the jump a little bit easier, seeing as Titan has fuck all agility. Um, this is its maxed out agility on a defender. Obviously, I can get a tiny bit more, um, but I need that increased height. Um, so basically, the only stats here which are needed are increased height, uh, Titan Codex 2, and Titan Codex 6. Um, these are the only ones that you really need. Um, I mean, you don't even... I'm not going to be doing a striker side of this. I'm not going to be doing a striker um, tutorial for this. Because they are literally identical. Uh, the striker and the defender are literally identical. However, I would suggest doing defender just for the safety um, aspect of having that bubble at the end. Um, you, you don't have to put your bubble up. But if you run into a bit of shit where the ogre doesn't die or teleports on you, then having that bubble is perfect. Um, and obviously a striker doesn't really have that option. So, let's get on with this. We want to be running past the first lamp, onto the second lamp. And then we're going to be jumping on the ledge. And then I'll show you as well how to do it without jumping on the ledge. So, let's get this underway. Let's go. So, as you've probably noticed already, I'm on hard mode. Ah, oh, shit. I'm on hard mode um, at the moment. Um, I'm going to be trying to do as much of this series on hard mode as I can. Um, obviously... Some things go worse than others, so um, some of the steps, if they are not on not hard mode, then then I won't just I just won't. I'll tell you. Um, so once you get on this rock, you want to aim for this little middle bit here, and you'll be jumping and looking up in the air. So you want to be jumping, looking up in the air, holding A down, and you should land on top like I just did. And then once you're on top, you are fine. So you want to aim back towards the center, so that's where you started. Look, and you want to just follow this ledge around. Now, if you can't jump onto that ledge, if you keep failing at it, I completely understand. It takes a lot of getting used to getting on top of that ledge. Now, if you can't do that, this is a little mini guide on how to do it um, without doing that. So, you want to just run as normal as we just did. Run past the first lamp, past the second lamp, and then just keep running. I'll tell you when to stop running. You just want to keep trying to dodge all the thralls that you can. It's a little bit difficult with these cursed thralls being everywhere. Shit. You want to get as much darkness off as possible. You run into this second lamp, third lamp, over here. Get a bit of your darkness off. And then carry on running again. If your character will run, that is. And then you want to get to this second lamp, I mean fourth lamp over here. Run around it a little bit. And keep running. We're nearly there now, nearly there. You really want to be calming down now. You keep running though. Um, once you get on top of this hill though, you should be fine. Eight. Nine, ten darkness. Okay, so here we have a lot of shit going on. So we've got our blast shield up. And this is pretty much the only way to do this. Once you've got your blast shield up, you want to be hugging the side of this rock here. So you're going to go straight left from the beacon and just follow it around. And then you should be fine. You want to keep following it around as far as you can go. Just keep going, keep going. Just bear in mind that thrall may follow you. If they do... Then just keep walking until it becomes a problem. If it becomes a problem, then you do want to start turning back, throwing some grenades or something. Um, now we're nearing up to the point where um, we jumped on top of a ledge. Also, the thrall are starting to come closer to us now. Okay, they're starting to back up a bit. So, we are getting towards the end of here now. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so once you get here... You want to just follow the ledge all the way around, all the way to this corner at the end here. Hurry up, get to the corner. The thrall are following me, hurry up. <laughs> get to the corner here, and then you want to crouch. 
So once you're crouched, you just want to keep following it around. If you jumped up on the ledge, then you won't be followed by Thrall. I promise you. You will not be followed by Thrall. However, this is a carry on from that little bit. So I will, I am being followed by Thrall. Um, so you want to be getting to this lamp right here. Edge real close to it. Real close. And then wait for it to activate. Yeah, there we go. Now wait until I don't this down a little bit. And I don't know if I'll stay here the whole time. There's a lot of enemies near me. Three. Two. Okay, we can stay here the whole time. And start running. Okay, there's the knight. You want to keep running past him. We are going to be followed by Thrall. However, if you did jump... If you manage to jump on top of a ledge, you will not be followed by Thrall at all. You'll be pretty much plain sailing at this point. Stop at this one here. Titans haven't got much agility. And then run again when you get to about three. Jump over this bit here and just keep going to this one, like, right to the end. And then once you get here, you want to just carry on running. Get on this pillar, jump up here on this little bit here, and then jump again to get on this rock. Now, you are you are basically safe now. Um, you might want to kill a few for all while, um, while that totem dies because you want a bit of super energy. Because the ogre's about to come. He'll be here now. Um, so once that explodes, you want to be looking out for this ogre who appears right at the back. You just want to hope that he doesn't teleport. Hopefully, he doesn't teleport. If he teleports, um, then you want to be hoping that you've got a bubble because you need a bubble for when he teleports. But as soon as he's dead, now he's dead, it's plain sailing. Sometimes, if you're really unlucky, another ogre will spawn. Um, I'm not actually sure on what triggers the other ogre spawn in, but as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty random. Um, but yeah, once you're done, you're just gonna sit down and put your bubble up if you want. Um, but usually, if you've killed one ogre and the other ogre comes, you've got enough time to put a bubble up and you should be safe. Now we're just gonna wait for the bridge to finish forming. Okay, the bridge is finished, let's go. So obviously you know how to do this from here. You just wanna run for your life. It's basically the rule of thumb. You just wanna keep running. Just watch out for Thrall. I think there is actually one really, really close to me. But we should be able to make it. So that is how to do the Abyss as a Titan. I will be doing the Warlock video next week. Um, and then I'm going to try and shorten um, the time in between these episodes. Just because I want to get it all out before the next expansion comes out, obviously. Um, so if you liked this video, found it helpful at all, then please do like it, subscribe, share it with your friends. All that jazz. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, Guardians.